In this episode, we will see how to download Selenium and configure Selenium with our Polet. So basically, for the last two episodes, we saw how to create the orchestra space and then finally we linked, uh, we created uh, a posit inside that orchestra space. So in this episode, we will first go to Selenium website and from there we will download Selenium. To go to Selenium website, we have to go uh, selenium.dev, uh, this site. So I'm typing selenium selenium uh, dot dev this website this is the official website of selenium so from here we have to download selenium to download selenium we can directly click here download or we can um, like uh, scroll and then we can go selenium web driver and from here we can download selenium so at first we have to go there by clicking download or you can click there it, it will come the same page so downloads so here you will find different links like selenium server internet export driver this is this thing but our first target is that we need to download this whole selenium to download whole selenium at first we have to choose on language uh, for our posers we are creating the testing application uh, this automation testing application uh, by using java so we need to download uh, the java supported version of selenium but selenium supports many other languages also like ruby python c sharp or JavaScript, even other languages also. So, as we are using Java for developing the test cases or test script uh, to write the test cases, uh, we have to download this version of Selenium. So, if you go to the right, you will see the uh, Java version of Selenium. Then, when it is released, uh, this is the latest release, and then there is some other links like download alpha download this this thing so basically we will go to the downloads this is more stable version of selenium so we just need to click this download link once we click this download link then the selenium jars will be downloaded uh, which we need to integrate with our java posers so once it is finished download we need to go to this download location okay it is still downloading uh, so it is very small size like 7.2 megabytes and you need some time to finish the download and the download uh, time it depends on the internet speed of your computer so once uh, the whole selenium jar downloaded i mean this thing which we uh, down which we downloaded from the previous page like selenium.dev and after that we went downloads and by we clicked here to download the selenium so once the finished once we finish download then we have to go to the download location so for my computer the downloads location is under our uh, downloads so this one is the downloaded thing so what we can do we can right click uh, and then we can extract basically i am extracting because this is actually a compressed version see uh, it is mentioned like this is zipped folder if you uh, how about your mouse you will see that compressed zip folder so we need to extract this we can extract this thing by right click and then choose extract all and it will extract it will give you uh, this type of window which location you want to extract so i'm choosing this is the default location uh, to extract and once you choose the location click on extract and it will extract everything here so after extraction you will get this type of thing so here uh, there are uh, these are all the selenium jars so basically we download all the jars so this jar and this jar these two are uh, two jars and beside these two jars there are other jars also inside the lib folder libs this is uh, these are the other jars so to use selenium or to install selenium with our existing process we need all the jars uh, the jars these two plus the jars between the lib folder okay so what we, we can do so for selenium we might uh, need this jar later also so what we can do we can right click and we can cut and we can put in our uh, the dev location c drive uh, then dev inside this dev we can create a folder like new folder like utilities so inside the utilities i'll put all the jars so i am putting all the jars over here so that in future if we need we can use this from here so i'm going to close this window because we don't need and we don't need so the first step of our 
Selenium installation we need to download which is ju which we just completed and the download is location uh, I mean that all the download jars are located in uh, my orchestras folder dev and they are created on uh, utilities so inside utilities all the jars are there so we need to link these jars uh, with our existing project okay so this is our project which we created um, previously so to link these jars with this process we just need to uh, right click and from here you will see properties so we need to go properties so once we are in properties then we have to come java build path this this location and over here you will see different tabs like source projects library order and some other things so we have to go libraries and under libraries we need to link these jars and these li jars are completely external jar that means this is not coming uh, through java installation or somewhere 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 it is not coming so we need to manually link this which is external so after coming to libraries we need to go add external jars from here it will open the browser window now we have to go to the location where we downloaded all the jars so for our case we um, the path is C then dev inside dev there is a folder utilities and inside utilities we copied all the jars over there okay so we need to link these two jars first so I'm going to click uh, this and this these two uh, I select this one and then I pressed I hold control key and select these two you can uh, choose all together or you can choose one by one and once you select that then click on open okay then there are other jars also in the list folder so I am going to uh, that location by pressing these add external jars and then there is leaves inside the leaves there are some other jars so we can do one thing we can hold ctrl a to select all or we can choose one by one and then we have to click on open and you will see that these jars are there okay and finally click on apply and close okay so once you do that you will see that there is another like folder like thing is appeared which is called reference libraries and inside it you will see all the jars which we just linked now okay so in this way you can link all the selenium jars to your existing project so hopefully by using uh, this video tutorial you will download the selenium from selenium.dev that website from that website you have to go downloads location okay so in this website when you will go selenium.dev in the downloads here you will find this type of links are there uh, for java we will download java downloads uh, uh, the selenium related stuff of java we will click here download and it will download automatically and after we finish downloading then we have to extract and we have to link uh, all the jars with this project and to link this project we just need to right click and then we have to go properties from their properties then java build path libraries and then we have to link all the external jars and finally once we linked then we have to click on apply and close okay so in this way you can easily do this thing and in the next video tutorial uh, i will show you how to write the first selenium script uh, by using some web driver basically uh, that is another thing uh, web driver uh, I will explain also later uh, but for till this point we are ready to integrate selenium and we have orchestra space we have project and inside the project we also linked or downloaded or installed all the selenium packages so thank you for watching